aside from you know just doing hair and sculpting it and like you know touching it and feeling it and making s something animated and live I like the idea of figuring out what my role is I've enjoyed doing film lately as far as like working with Bruce that's just like filming a party. There's always like so much going on, you know, there's like animals and people and you know, and there's like the crew and there's the people you're shooting and kind of makes it, you know, really pleasurable. Anymore when I work with him and most people that I work with lately, they're always making films when they're shooting. The film and the print thing are just kind of interspersing. I never want to do anything like, you know, a sculpture on top of somebody's head that like kind of does, like takes away from their beauty. Okay. When you create something that's like perfectly symmetrical and I think it's so much more interesting when people do things like with nuance. Creating different types of textures and weights. I want it to be um, something that you feel like you could touch and it would move. I get it from like a lot of things movies, paintings, pictures, um, nature, trees, 20 silent movies, you know, taking that. I, I just find that like film, you get to live it more, you know? Whereas, you know, doing a photo shoot for like a lookbook or editorial or one day, it's just like, you know, you always go home and you're like, maybe I should have done this or maybe I should have done that. And I think with the film, you kind of get to do that. Even from the hair standpoint, continuity is really important, um, but also you want to make it look like you, and it also has to be believable. So, you know, there's all those elements. So each day, like, I just strive, like, what can I do to make this better? I felt like film is a luxury in that way because you really get to let the character, like, evolve. A long time ago when I was just like a young kid in a small town. Like I didn't ever had a camera, my family never had a camera, but our other friend had one. I was really bossy, so I would always be like, do this, and we're gonna do this, and wear this outfit. So I became like kind of the director, and we'd always star in our own stuff too. Kids' narratives are amazing. You know when you look at a kid, just like the proportions of their face, are like they make you, it's funny, or it's like really sweet, yeah. And they always have like rotten milk on their face or something. They're wild. Yeah. They're like beasts, kind of in a way. <laughs> how they navigate the world is really funny because they're just beginning to learn how to, like these normative things and not normative things. My friends here got into fashion and I think by default they just offer like ways to make money. So I started working with them. But then I went back to graduate school in Tucson and I studied women's and queer theory and then I got really like I'm never gonna work in fashion and I was like I'm only gonna do really high like theoretical art and like I'm gonna make a difference and then I like came back here and of course the only jobs I got were in fashion <laughs> so, I was like how bad can it be I'm trying to move away from being like uh, isolated and just like thinking theory because I find myself like, getting back to these like theoretical books and being like I'm gonna make this crazy conceptual project and then I went to the Amory show yesterday I just, I see so much art that's like, it's so beautiful and some of it's like really simple. I mean, of course, like you can read a million things into it and make it much more complex, but like, I realize that like things don't have to be so fucking complex, you know? And I feel like that's, I'm trying to take that. I'm trying to like scale things back and make something a little bit more beautiful maybe. Cause I like to make really grotesque things too. Like hearts being ripped out and like bacon baking on your face and like the sun. So like, you know, like just disgusting things. Recently I've been helping out a friend uh, who helps manage factories, like so I've been working a little bit like inside factories here who do like sample production um, and I find it really interesting because I feel like the factories here are really different from what they would be somewhere else, like I don't think they're exploitative here, like at least the ones I've seen. I'm also teaching this class at um, the ICP, so it's like this photo school. 
They definitely make a distinction between, at least for still photography, between fashion photography and art photography, and I still think that's like really interesting. And I guess I work in both here. I know a lot of friends who do both, but I think that um, I think fashion photography is really amazing because there's a lot of money in it. Actually, I was just running my daily errands with Marva by McClendon. And I said, Marva, we got to get a picture of that. Stop, sort, your grandpa can take a horror photo. Now take a photo. Stand right there. And then she said, you want pictures of that garbage? And I said, absolutely. Do you know it looks like a Jewish store? Every season we like to do a short film featuring a collection. I kind of have a, an image of what I want to be wearing um, and what I want to see people wear. And then I'll be like, this kind of reminds me of a film that I once saw. And then I'll kind of go back to that and, and kind of add more, more detail from the feeling of the film. Um, and then sometimes, like it doesn't happen like I'll watch a film and be like, I want to make the clothes for these characters completely. Like, I want to like redress the characters in the film. That's what I do. Gallery of Evil Wonders, Daisy's, amazing, amazing inspiring films. They're just so sexy and amazing and very feminist, actually. Twin Peaks or um, strange, it's like movies from, you know, from my childhood and things like that, that I, I just kind of love the mood in these films. Like, the, they're very sexy and sensual. And the characters' personalities really come through. And I think with my clothes, I like to capture a personality and a sense of adventure and mystery in, in the clothes. When I was really young, like three years old, starting, I had this dress-up trunk full of fabric and like all this crazy stuff. And I would make the costumes for all of us to wear and kind of directing the whole thing. Like, this is what you do when you walk in. And then my sister would like, you know, I'd tell her what to do, and then by the end, she would kind of be telling me what to do. We'd all, like, direct each other. I can only go back in time. I think when people wear the clothes, they, they feel special. They feel like they can, and, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a sense of being and, like, a way of thinking. It's for a powerful woman who knows what she wants and, um, you know, has a love of the world and everything around her and always wants to find the next thing.